everyone, Henry from Smoky Hills Outdoor Storm Park Rapids, and I'm at the 2017 Ice Castle Dealer Show right here in Montevideo, where all those ice castles are made, and I'm here with Aaron. Aaron, thanks a lot for taking the time. Hey, no problem. So, you guys are making a lineup of the uh, crank up trailers Correct. for Ice Castle. Yep. And you based right out of? Oh, we're right out of the Detroit Lakes. Oh yeah, so it's just in our backyard there, so yeah. not too far away. And uh, one of the cool things I see is, is that you've made quite a few improvements. Oh yeah, we're, this is our new Gen 4 trailer and right. we're excited with the, uh, all the new things we've done with it. So uh, what I wanted to start with a little bit is I know there's a ton of new stuff that's happening. Why don't you show us the axle system a little bit because I know a lot of people are curious about this. Okay, what we have here is our, our greaseless axle system. And what this allows is we've eliminated all the grease cirques on here. Um, it now has a uh, castle nut basically holding um, your, your pivot system onto your pivot axle. Um, we have incorporated into the pivot arm on, this, on our new trailers. This is a, uh, a composite bushing in here that has a woven interlace in it. Um, it's used out in the mining industry, and it's capable of 30,000 PSI of compression strength. Um, our axles are custom machined right here in Minnesota, and we also have them yellow zinc plated for extra uh, rust protection. We have UHMW thrust washer on the inside. Um, we have UHMW washer on the outside. And when it's put together, you basically have zero metal to metal contact on here now. Nice thing is, is that this whole thing is, is uh, repairable, uh, serviceable, um, and it's, it's nice and tight and right. it makes for a great and, system. And you were showing me it's pretty easy. This whole piece just comes right out just for the three bolts. Yes, so, correct. So it makes it pretty easy. Uh, and I don't have to do any kind of greasing at all on this unit. Correct. This, they actually, the manufacturer of this bushing does not recommend using any type of, of right. grease or, or oils on here. The, the dry, drier it runs, the better. And I can say, I was playing with this earlier, it's amazingly smooth how this sits right there. Yes, it's uh, everything is machined within thousandths of an inch tolerance. Um, and we have to hold that to keep the uh, keep the parts to work together. Good. Right. So everything is done on some you know very high end machines, and it's all done right here in Minnesota. That's pretty cool. And so, like you said, there's no metal on metal. That's why. It's exactly. So, so exactly. you said this is removable. Yep. Um, we have in our frames that's bolted together with uh, some grade eight fasteners. So if there ever is an issue, this axle is removable from the main frame. Um, these parts are, you know, can be purchased, and you know we can get the customer back on the road faster. Um, right. I mean, nobody wants anything to go wrong, but when you're ice fishing, you things can. And, everything uh, can. This just makes it simple, so no need to cut this out anymore. Right, and we will have all these parts available for for any of the dealers that uh, you know, okay. so you can get the customer back on the road right away. Perfect. So let's take a look at a couple of improvements that you've made here. If you want to kind of quickly walk through this with us, if, if you don't mind. Okay. One of the biggest things we've done is we've added this reinforcement plate that goes all the way through uh, part of the frame uh, past the V here. This, this plate right here is a 3 8 plate. Um, reinforces both sides of this here. This, there's a lot, of, a lot of force goes into here. So we made this here uh, very strong. Right. I see you capped it off nice here for us as well. Yep, and we used grade 8 fasteners, capped it off uh, using heavy quarter wall tube. We've increased the, the size of the winch mount and we've also ran the front uh, plates all the way down to the bottom so we're tying into the uh, bottom of the tube. Uh, we've increased our tabs um, so that all the force is transferred uh, right. up into the upper part of the tube. And we've also, on the 16 and 17 footers, went with a 6,000 pound hitch on it. Right, right. Uh, so all these combinations in front make this one of the strongest front uh, trailers out there. I, I can just tell, everything is just beefed up. And everything yep. looks... Now, it looks like a lot of these trailers uh, 
have this newer coating on it. And I have to say that you guys did a really good job at this. Uh, it looks Thank like uh, looks like the, the art has been perfected. <laughs> We've spent a lot of time working on it, uh, working with the uh, manufacturers of the coating. Um, developing a different gun tip and we've really got it to uh, spray nice right no uh, it looks it looks pretty even I, I have to say thank let's you. keep going back in and let's see what else we got um, a couple of different things you were telling me that this was actually improved your what do you call it a shark arm we call it a shark arm that's our, our in-house term but this is the torque arm for uh, raising the trailer up and down we've developed <coughs> this into a one piece um, piece of metal basically so now all the stress is transferred right down into the main arm. There's no welds to go bad here. There's no uh, possibilities of, of anything going you know, bad. Um, we've also developed a bolt-on brake backer. So now the brakes are replaceable okay. um, in case there's ever a problem with them. Excellent. Um, and you were showing me a neat little trick up here now. I want to want to show uh, people this. Why don't you show us what you did right here? Okay, this is our new spring shackle. Uh, we had an issue where they were falling down, and you know it's taken time to get the the spring up. So we have by raising it up, taking the pressure off your leaf spring, pulling your pulling your pin out, and then you put it between those two cables. Uh, good place to put your pin back in. Now when you let your trailer down, your spring shackle isn't falling down and getting below the torque arm or anything like that. It's right where you left it. Right where you left it. And it'll stay right with it the whole way. Uh, when you bring it back up, it lines up wow. almost perfectly with where it needs to be. Now when you pull the pin out, it doesn't fall down. Put your your pin back in through your leaf spring. Put your pin back in there. Release your cable. That's pretty and, awesome. And you're down the road. Wow, that's really awesome. I, I know a lot of people have been asking for something like that, so that's yep. pretty cool. And then you know, one of the questions we probably get the most now okay. you you are the engineer, so you know a little right. bit more about it. Why do the axles not run all the way through the trailer? Is there a reason for it? Um, the reason is, is that if it was a one-piece axle, it would have been harder to repair. Another reason is that this tube right here, we've increased the strength of this tube. By tying that into there, all the weight is, is transferred into there. Um, if we ran it all the way across, it would almost be a waste of material. So it really wouldn't be doing much because this is carrying all the weight. That is carrying all the weight. And how this is tied in, just looking at this, I. I don't see much happening with it. No, nope, we've added dual gussets on here. Uh, one going up, tying into the top wall. One going down, tying into the bottom wall. We don't tie into the side of the tube because that's the weak part of the tube. Okay. We tie it into the, where the tubes make their, their transition here from top to side. Um, and that keeps it, so now we've encapsulated that axle system on four sides basically. Excellent. Well, Aaron, thank you so much, man. You betcha. I appreciate it. Absolutely. GS trailers are going to be coming to your 2018 Ice Castle models uh, pretty much all across the board. Uh, they're going to start with 16 and 17 foot crank up houses. So if you're looking for a GS trailer on your next Ice Castle, make sure you contact the guys at Smoky Hills. And uh, these guys have been great. They're just down the road. We've done a lot of work with them. And um, stay posted for more uh, cool news coming to Ice Castle and GS Trailers.